Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Children's Chapel with Pastor Katie. I'm excited to see how we will encounter our God during our time together. Let's begin by lighting our candle. Oh, it's taking its time. And do you remember the song we sing? We sing, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no! I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no! I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no! I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Don't let Satan blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan blow it out it out. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Amen, friends. Let's let it shine. I'm gonna put my candle right over here so I can still see it by the cross. I wondered if you maybe have seen people wearing things out in public, maybe, or in your neighborhood. Have you seen anyone wearing something like this? Yeah? This is one of my masks that someone made me. Or maybe you saw them wearing something that looked a little bit more like this, right? This is maybe what we've seen around town, or if you've gone out in public, you might see people wearing them. Or you might have one yourself. This is one my friend Kathy made for me. And look, can you see what's on my mask? There's unicorns and rainbows. And then my other favorite one, Shopkins. Isn't that silly? Well, the reason why I might have chosen what seems like silly material is because masks can be kind of scary, right? Sometimes it's scary when we can't see everyone's full face. And so we're going to hear our prayer of illumination, and then I'm going to read a verse that is comforting to me. It feels like a really big hug in what has been a scary time. But first, let's do our prayer for illumination. We say, Dear Lord, give us eyes to see and ears to hear, and hearts to understand your word. Amen. Our scripture today comes from the Old Testament, the book of Psalms. And this one is Psalm 116. That's a lot of numbers, isn't it? I imagine many of you can count past 100. And this one is found in chapter 116. And I'm going to grab my Bible right here. You know, Pastor Katie has lots of Bibles. And this one is called the Common English Bible. And if you want to find Psalms, what you have to do is sometimes just open your Bible right to the middle and Psalms will show up. So listen to what Psalms has to say today, okay? I love the Lord because God hears my request for mercy. I'll call out to God as long as I live because God listens closely to me. Death's ropes bound me. The distress of the grave has found me. I have come face to face with trouble and grief. So I called to the Lord's name. Lord, please save me. The Lord is merciful and righteous. Our God is compassionate. The Lord protects simple folk. God saves me whenever I am brought down. I tell myself, you can be at peace again because the Lord has been good to you. You know, it's kind of been a little bit of a scary season. You might have seen people wearing things that look a little scary. Let's see. Have you seen anyone wearing something like this? It's a mask, right? And a lot of people are wearing them when they go out in public. This one's a white one. But I have some different ones, too. I have this one. Isn't it beautiful? Whoa, it's flying beautiful with the flowers on it. Do you see the beautiful flowers? And these masks are meant to keep us safe. 
And so Pastor Katie, we wear, I wear these when I go out in public, when I go to the store or when I need to go do things. And along with washing my hands and using hand sanitizer, this is another way that we can stay safe. And I thought, you know, some of these masks look a little scary. So I had my friend Kathy help me and Kathy made me this one. Do you see what's on here? There's little unicorns, unicorns and rainbows. And then Kathy made me this one. It's really silly, but I love it. It's Shopkins. I think they're so cute. And what I love about these masks is even though they kind of can be scary, especially because we're not used to seeing people and you know, you can't see my smile when I'm wearing it. But I thought these maybe silly masks would show people maybe a, a lighter side or maybe a happier side or a peaceful side, even as we're in a new time. You know, there's lots of things going on maybe in our head, in our heart. And I found a book that really talks about these things. And it's called The Little Book of Big What Ifs. So you might have been asking, what if we stay at home forever? Or what if I never get to go back to school again? This book has some things to say about the what ifs. Let's listen. What if you slept through your birthday? Hmm. What if no one could hear you? Can you imagine if no one could hear you? What if everyone could hear you? Look at, they're snoring at a concert. What if you swallowed a seed? Do you see what happened? He sprouted some branches. What if it doesn't grow? Look at his carrot. He thinks it didn't grow, but look at who's got his carrot. What if there was only one way? He's in an airplane with a parachute and he's got to jump. What if there was only one kind? Look at, he's at a tea shop and the only flavor of tea Banana. Oh man. What if there was way too many? They're at the ice cream shop and look at all these delicious flavors of ice cream. That's a lot of choices. What if you can't think of anything? He's holding his pineapple. He doesn't know what to say. What if your imagination runs wild? Look at now his pineapple's getting a haircut. What if you get lost? And what if someone can help? Do you see him getting help there? What if you make the time? What if you had a long way to go? You can see he's kind of gardening with a rake, smoothing out the sand, making a pattern. And here they are on a journey going somewhere. What if it was worth the wait? Look at that long journey. Took him to his grandparents' house. How wonderful. What if there was too much room? His boots are too big. Or what if there isn't enough? Look at he's falling off of the bunk bed. What if you go off the beaten path? See the butterflies? What if you make a mistake? Do you see him? He's falling down a hole. But what if we all work together? They're helping Mr. Elephant get out of the hole. What if we find one thing in common? And look, they're putting roller skates on. What if we change our perspective? And look at the book, Changes. What if you're surprised? Do you see them being all surprised? What if everyone shared? I like that, they're passing out little hearts. What if it spreads? Look at 
like how everyone's helping and the love keeps going. He's sharing a sandwich. They're cleaning up a mess. There's another mess. What a difference it would make. Let's see them all hanging out. I really, really, really like this little book of Big What Ifs by Renata Luski. Luska. L-I-W-S-K-A. I'm not really sure how to say it, but I love that this little bear asks all these really big questions because right now I think we might be asking lots of really big what if questions. And I really like how at the end they talk about what ifing or thinking through all these things together. That's what I hear in the psalm. You know, the psalmist was a person just like us, the person who wrote what we heard from scripture. And the psalmist reminded us that God is big enough to hear all our what ifs. So let's pray today. We say, dear God, we love you. We thank you that you are big enough to hear all the questions of our heart. And all God's children say, Amen. Friends, as we go from this place, whether you're wearing a mask or you're reading your favorite book, reading your scripture stories, praying with your mom and dad or grandparents, or just cuddling with your animal, I hope you know that our God is big enough for all of our feelings. Our feelings of joy and excitement, our feelings of sadness, our questions, our what ifs. And God has given us a community to work through this together. So know that Pastor Katie is praying for you and your family and that our church loves you and so does our God. So be well until we meet again. Bye.